Hey, what is going on viewers? Zesty Lime Studios here and welcome back to another drinks review. Today we're doing another one of these Greg's cold coffee drinks, but this one is going to be on the caramel latte. So I've got this picture drink out of Greg's, an actual Greg's shop, and at the time of doing this video, video they've only recently uh, released these in the shops. So yeah, it's basically, everyone seems to be doing cold coffees now, so basically these are out to say rival the, the Costa iced coffee in the cans. Uh, the Starbucks cold ones and maybe like you know the boost iced coffee uh, as well which are very nice drinks so interesting to see Greg's have done it I think they're about £1.55 a can I think they were something like that so you know not too bad but still cheaper than like the Costa ones which can be like almost £2 for one of them so obviously still a lot cheaper than Costa as Greg's should be anyway so yeah let's give it goes a 4360 of the cam so it's a 250 mil cam which is like just you know the small normal size we also have the usual kind of greg's coloring and logo which is this kind of i i say it's blue but it is kind of a weird blue isn't it but either way it's the it's the greg's color we've got a bit of cream on the bottom and then we kind of got um half and half going on here and of course the greg's logo on the front on the bottom we've got nothing and on the top everything is a standard including the pool ring so taking a closer look at the can. So it's a Greg's Cold Coffee uh, Caramel Latte Downtime. Make your moment. So, so this is the Caramel Latte version. There is also a just standard latte version as well, which I have also reviewed as well. Looking on the side of the can, so it says Caramel Latte for your downtime. Relax with the smooth and sweet coffee treat. This silky caramel latte is made with a cold brew base crafted from our classic house blend of quality beans. No, you're Greg's. We've been around since 1939, and today we serve millions of happy customers every week. Famous for our great tasting, freshly prepared food, we're also one of the nation's most popular coffee destinations, and with this handy can, you can now enjoy our coffee wherever you are. So yes, it's just, yeah, the cold version over there, basically. Shake three times for the perfect taste. We'll see about that. And first served, best served chilled. Yeah, shake it in a bit, we don't want it to explode on me, do we? Anyway, reading the ingredients. So, we have our usual stuff, milk and stuff like that. We have one sweetener, which is so close. So these are half sugar at 4.4 grams per 100 ml. So this total can contains 11 grams of sugar, which is actually quite low on sugar, especially for the caramel version as well, because I know the Boost iced coffees are at about 11 to 12 grams of sugar per 100 ml, so they're really sugary. And I think the Costa ones, again, are quite high in sugar as well, I believe. So, um, yeah, it's nice that these are lower in sugar, so you have the choice. And the caffeine content is 80.8 milligrams of caffeine per 100 ml. You're always saying, ah, oh, that's so much. Yes, that is more than a standard 250 ml energy drink, but bearing in mind, people normally drink, like, you know, three, four, five coffees a day, and people probably drink a few of these a day. So straight away, you've got more caffeine in that they were energy drinks are so it's a misconception that there's more caffeine in energy drinks than there is coffee and there's your proof 80.8 milligrams of caffeine in the 250 ml can so just think about that anyways apart from that it's nice and cold i have my zesty lime studios cups nevertheless let's give it a shake and get straight into it so it says shake three times for the perfect taste okay one two three let's see if it explodes I've got my tissues just in case because i do not want cold coffee over my desk my PC screens are just there, and everything else is everywhere else. Right. Let's see. So, hopefully it doesn't explode over me. I think we are... It sounded bad, but I think we are safe. A little bit went on tissue, but yeah, we are safe. Hurrah! Anyways, let's open this bad boy. Here we go. So we all know the colour is going to be brown like all cold coffee drinks are, or coffee drinks in general. But anyways, the colour is brown. Oh, there we go. Don't want it to spill out or splash out, shall I say. There we go. Right, put the can to one side so it doesn't go everywhere. There we go. 
So yes, the colour is brown as you can see. Definitely maybe a bit on the lighter side compared to some of the other colours, which is fair enough, but the most part, it is that brown colour. Uh, thickness wise, now of course, it's a cold, <coughs> excuse me, it's a cold coffee drink. It's not designed to be cold. I'm oh, sorry, it's not designed to be thick or made to be thick or anything like that. It's a cold coffee drink and you can see how kind of thin it is, but remember, it's not a milkshake. Uh, some of the coffee drinks can be, say, fairly thick and stuff, but, um, or say fairly thick, but they can be somewhat a little bit, you know, creamy and stuff. But um, again, these are abs these are nowhere near designed to be thick like a milkshake. Anyway, let's give it a closer smell and see what we can smell of. Okay, so interestingly, and I don't want to spoil the other review for you, but I just want to do a bit of comparison. So I've already reviewed the standard latte first, like I said, and that smell, say more of coffee. This one smells less of coffee. I think because there's caramel flavor in here, it's toned down, toned down the caramel smell. Uh, not I don't know if necessarily a bad or good thing because it's just a smell at the end of the day, but yeah, it smells less coffee-y. That's even the word. But anyways, guys, <clears throat> let's taste some. Hmm, caramel what? Really? Really? Is there caramel in there? They're having a laugh. Yeah, caramel flavour. I don't know what they're playing at. And I think this is the issue I had in my head before telling you guys that because these are low in sugar, they won't actually taste like sweet or actually taste of nice caramel flavour. And sometimes you just want it to be sugary and sweet for a treat because I look at this and think, well, I, I wouldn't even know it's caramel to be honest with you drinking it if I gave it to someone because what does it say on the back of the can let's read it and quote it it says relax with this smooth it is quite it, it is smooth to be fair and sweet this silky caramel latte well it's really not that sweet whatsoever to be honest with you um it just tastes so similar to the to the other one like I said it really wouldn't know it's got caramel in it big let down that is Big let down. I'm just, I'm really trying to taste a caramel and it is just almost non-existent. Like, I just don't get what goes through their minds when they taste, when they taste test these drinks. They need to ask someone like me who actually reviews drinks, you know, has reviewed hundreds of drinks. And I'd say to Greg's, this doesn't taste a caramel. What are you guys playing at? This does not taste a caramel whatsoever. Like, why? Like, just, I, I don't get how their all these drinks have taste testing groups, such. I don't even know what they do, but honestly, it does not taste of caramel, I'm telling you now. Nah, it just doesn't do it. Um, It's not disgusting, <coughs> the such show. It's just, yeah, it just doesn't taste of caramel, which is not great. Like I said, to be fair though, it is quite smooth and silky, which is very nice. It's a really, really nice smooth based coffee. Just like the other one as well, which is great. But yeah, just, it doesn't taste caramel, so that's a big, big letdown for that. So yeah, not too much else to say about that really. Just a bit letdown really, but there we go. They might release, they might release limited edition flavors in the future. They might release like a, a chocolate mocha one, or maybe a, I don't know, a hazelnut one or something. But we'll see how they go. But seriously, Greg, if you are watching this, because I know you're quite hot on, social media and whatever with your big shop in Primark in Birmingham or whatever. Honestly, <clears throat> tweak that flavour a little bit, make it a bit more sweeter for the camera because if you drink it as a treat, then maybe that'll be a better thing, but there we go. So on the potential scale of niceness, I think I'd give it a, I think for the caramel taste, I think I'll give it a 10% because yeah, it just does the taste of it and I would not drink that again whatsoever. So, but it doesn't mean the drink's disgusting. So, as the cold coffee, it's fine. The caramel, yeah, 10%. Anyways, viewers, as always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you all later.